special issues committee june 20th roll call please miss smith here miss gear here mr alamont mr sims here and miss andrews holding on to a quorum popular week to be out of town um can i get a motion from somebody to dispense with the reading of the minutes and approve them as presented Nick, I need you to see that. Um, second. second. Sorry. <laughs> All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All right. That is three to zero to approve the minutes. Um, okay. Uh, 050522 is a public hearing set for July 25th at 6 p.m. for consideration of a request for vacation of right away at 16th Street adjacent to 2901 um, Central Avenue. Alex, we opened and closed. We're working on this with the Maniscalcos. Do we need to? What, I can't remember what. There's we're nothing all, we need to do right now. Just uh, leave it we just where didn't it is. Set it, we didn't set the public. Oh, hearing. that's right. We didn't ever set the public hearing. Correct. That's right. So, so we'll, we'll just continue our conversations with, the with them, and we'll. Week. Okay. Um, should we drop this, or should we just carry it over? I would say carry it over. Okay. All right. Carry yeah, that one over. So to clarify, the item says July 25th, but there's not actually a date. We we never set the yeah. date. I think we discussed that if we were to set a date, that would be the date. But then yeah. Alex. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, right. That's right. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So the idea is that we did not set any public, no public area set on the side at this point. By carrying this over, we can just pick up where we left off if we need if to we without need to. having to restart the okay. whole process. Right, yes, yeah. But that and, date will no longer. And work. since he is here, is there anything to update tonight? Well, He's I'm, waiting on some information from us that yes. Taylor was working on. Today. Yes, so, and I'm. So that we're, we'll get there. Right? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, he's. He's waiting on information from us. Okay. Yes, which I have, so we'll talk about Great. that in just a second. So that is, we're just going to carry that one over without um, any comments on that. Okay, uh, 170522, request to consider revisions to the membership stru membership structure of the Arts Advisory Council. Ms. Gear and Mr. Wyatt. Um, Ms. Gear uh, texted me today, and the Arts Advisory uh, Council has decided they're going to do a wholesale uh, look at their um, bylaws. So there may be more changes than just the structure itself. So um, Ms. Gear and I talked about just tabling this item for now and then bringing it back when they have completed their look at everything so we can kind of deal with everything all at once. I have a draft, but they're bouncing it around the commit of the council. Yeah. So I, I think it'll be soon or okay. rather than later. But okay. And from that aspect too, is the, you know, is the current vacancy going to continue? Well, um, it's part of their creative uh, membership restructuring. I mean, they have folks that are sitting in the meeting, but they have an X number of people who uh, want to be on the council and they want them to be. So I'll say that their participation is good, and we're just going to work through who takes what seat uh, once we get the entire draft put back together. All right, so you want to move to table it? I think so. Okay, well, yes. and then we can just bring it right back up whenever they're yeah. whenever they're ready for it. See? Mm -hmm. All right, Nick, you'll need to second it. Second. <laughs> I didn't know. That. Sorry, I missed the actual motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, all in favor? Aye. All right. Okay, so we will table that one until they get good with their draft, and then we'll bring that back up to to take care of that. Um, okay, uh, new business 080622, public hearing set for June 27, 2022, for consideration of a front yard fence variance at 117 East Glenwood Drive, Kyle Brown, Wyatt Pugh, and I believe y'all are here. Yep. Do we have a sign in? Do we need to have them sign I, I in? I do have a sign in. Okay, sure. if you don't mind, just coming forward and signing in on the sign up sheet. Yeah, right there. Hold on, Thank you. This, this was pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you if you go to the pictures at the front and back, go to the next one. The next, the next one. That one. Okay. Uh, this is their house, the white one, and right beside it you've got the apartments. Uh, right beside them, if you can scroll down. I think we had a picture under this one, right? Um, yeah. This is directly across the street. You've got a uh, a fence where they got a variance years ago blocking uh, kind of putting buffer type blocking from the parking from the apartments so unless I'm misunderstood this is kind of what he's wanting right on his side and you're going to come in within 10 feet of the right of way yeah and so that's stop. what this is the Chancellor's house so it's 116 um, East Glenwood 
And I believe y'all set for him a 10-foot setback off of East Glenwood um, and kept it at a six-foot and had proposed the lattice just for visibility. And that was the big thing that we had was um, we had a, a bunch of overgrowth in between the, our house and the apartments that just blocked cars from seeing our kids in the yard or vice versa going the other way. So we took those down years ago, and so that's what we're proposing is just the exact same. So if you want to go back to the other picture. This, this and the, that's on Leland. My wife and I back actually were just on a walk and saw it. Similar situation. They have it in between an alley. They're doing some work there. So, I mean, it's not as high. It's not a six foot. I don't know if they, they haven't gone up since then, um, but just the same look. Now, I know y'all have some pickets out. And y'all, yeah. is that what y'all are, is so, that what y'all are thinking of? Is that what y'all's proposal is, is the pickets? Or that'd, yeah, it's not as that'd be great that. since they're there. But we'll do whatever y'all yeah. yeah we can edit it but it isn't as tall as that right? yeah tall as yeah no those pickets are three four five. i was about to say they didn't look, yeah, they didn't look they're not high. tall um so that's what scott had proposed hey the neighbors across the street that looks great they'd mimic it so okay. um go for something like that okay all right um well this is set for a public hearing for next week uh so the appropriate motion is to send it out without recommendation pending that public hearing somebody send me Yeah, I have copies too. Of, I have six copies at least. Oh, yeah, if you don't mind, anyone. Yeah, that's perfect. That makes it easy. I'll make a motion to send it to the council. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. Motion for Ms. Gear, second uh, for Mr. Sims. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, that's 3 to 0. Okay, so Thanks. that public hearing will be next Monday night, next door. It's cool. Thank you. All right, thank y'all. <coughs> Okay, um, 090622, public hearing set for June 27, 2022 yeah. at 6 p.m. for consideration of a sign of sign variances at 2901 Central Avenue, uh, Chelsea Maniscalco owner, Wyatt Pugh, and Lee Maniscalco is here. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's okay if I just point something out a couple of once the time's real quick. Um, on April 25th, Mrs. Maniscalco, uh, applied for a 30 day temporary banner permit. Um, the description said temporary vinyl sign to cover existing signage. So we issued that. That was no problem. She just came and got it. But on June 1st, um, we notified the applicant that the permit had expired and that the sign needed to be removed. Um, it was at that point that we learned that actually three banners had been hung, but you know, we weren't gonna make anything out of it. The permit was expired, but um, Mrs. Maniscalco stated that she needed to keep the signs up for an extended length of time <coughs> through the end of the year. Well, it was at that time we realized, since we haven't had many banner permit applications come in, we hadn't really gotten deep into it. Well, we realized that temporary banner permits are no longer permitted in the downtown district in the sign ordinance. So there's really not an option to issue any further her request is to keep these up until the end of the year is that correct well we're correct? currently working with an architect to give the building a facelift and that would include permanent signage and so these temporary signs covered up the existing signage that was there and so there were three existing signs okay so that's why the three signs that's why there were three in fact i didn't even see this one on the end until like on the end of the, the square yeah. piece that sticks out until later and so she we're going to cover that one up because it had the old business name and the old business name on it yeah. and so that was why that's why there's three because we we're like well we don't want to re like behind it it's this color because it's been there for 20 years and so it's like well we don't repaint right before we redo the outside anyway and it didn't look great um so is there any chance that it won't take till the end of the year yes okay I mean, we're getting estimates now, which should be back any day now for the past week. So hopefully we'll get the estimates and then we're ready to start whenever okay. um, the contractors can do it. So, I mean, if we're, one of them is active and they said they could start like in a month. So, I, I mean, I don't think it would take that long, but that's what we, the date we initially put on the uh, right, just to permit. And that's why, up. because we're like, I don't know, we'll it surely won't take that long. Okay, and, and that might be, I mean, I think, 
every, obviously everybody understands that y'all bought an existing business and obviously you don't want the old information on there, it would just be confusing for your uh, patients. Um, but I think a shorter time span might be more powerful to people, um, just considering that. Um, so that in consideration. And then of course, this is also set for public hearing. Um, and don't leave before I show you this other thing. Um, so the proper motion for this would also be to send it out without recommendation pending the public hearing on Monday night. Well, and I mean, that's because if, if they're not allowed, I mean, I assume it would be. When they are allowed, only one temporary <coughs> matter is permitted for 30 days. Right. You can have another one for 30 days, but the events have to be separated by a period of 30 days. You okay. Can't do them back so this would be essentially asking to are those guidelines set for like an event like hey we're having this festival yeah here's the yeah, yeah. yeah so that's not necessarily really for like the turnover because really right. i'm thinking well because well, they're not like flattening in the breeze yeah. they're like screwed into right. the thing so would it Thanks. matter if i had like temporary sign on a painted piece of plywood would this even be an issue if it met all the well, things or is it just because it's fine? well you, since words you know have meaning you, you these are banners. They're not. You know, they're not designed to be permanent signs. I mean, right. in the summer sun, these may not make it through the summer. So these are banners. Um, if you propose to put up a sign that was designed to be permanent, whether it's a painted wooden sign or, or whatever, that that is a permanent sign. I mean, we have some painted wooden signs around town. Those are designed to be permanent signs. They may need some maintenance, but you know, sure. they're designed to be. Um, that would be different than this. Okay. So that may be something you want to look at. Yeah. Have someone make you a sign. Yeah. It would it would cost cost. Uh, I know. Another, another cost. Yeah. Um, it, so, anyway, but. Um, is there a way to, like, the sign that's on the, on the bulwark, for lack of a better word, is it painted or is it, like, channel letter like is there there are actual letters up there uh, it's they like be printed it's like printed on the vinyl so oh, i okay. can cut it out of the vinyl and then screw it onto wood um, but i don't know but you know. can't have that video no. <laughs> yeah well, the sign ordinance would permit one sign yeah on, on the wood, one on the front i think probably on wall sign wall sign yeah. yeah, there are other types of signs. That but you, you can ask for variance for more than one wall sign, which obviously people do and have and regularly do, as far as I can tell. Um, could, is there a way that y'all could get together and figure something? I mean, is there a way, to, before we have the public hearing, well, the public hearing's already set. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way to come up with a solution. Well, and since it's not even, I'm sorry, I'm yeah, well, I mean, and the, even if, the public hearing would be to allow well, the question is yeah yeah I mean the question yeah and I and I guess it's just it'd be a temporary I, I don't even know what to call what it would be I don't even I'm trying to come up with words yes that's right the, the, the downtown district is different from the from rest the, of the, the side right and that's where that's how this got through because, right 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 it wasn't even noticed yet yeah and and so um, yeah since the downtown district is different they don't there's not even a there's not even a section for temporary signs right or temporary banners period right right there's just so I, I don't know what the solution would be if, if, if anything you do with with these banners would be a variant so yeah would be to permit him to use a non permitted sign yeah I think well, that, that's what I was about to say. It's it, it, it's not. We can't even give a variance because it's Correct. it's not allowed. So I'm. Yes, Scott. <laughs> please it, add some wisdom, please. Uh, it, 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 if it gets if it gets away from the banner, right? It makes it a permanent sign. Yeah. Although it may be temporary in For his them. eyes, it would be permanent in ours. It, okay. Just because it would not be an actual, it wouldn't be a, that's just a banner. That's at it. Yeah. So as long as it meets the ordinance as being permanent, then when he decides that he wants to change it out, then, then he can change it out. Right. And then you have an 
Yeah, it would be. Then it would be a variance. Unless he's going to comply with the sign. Exactly. Yeah, he complies with the sign. Which he very well may, because I see what he said. I get why he may not need three signs in the end result because he doesn't. He may not need three signs like the old dentist had because this currently is just covering the old signs so that the old dentist information isn't up. But when they redo their building, they may not need three signs or if they anyway. Do, they can come in and ask for a variance leave. Correct. Yeah. The new one has one. One. Uh, one. Door. Okay, but so there you go. That, the, so he wouldn't need a variance at all yeah. in the end result. This uh, is just to get through to that point where there is. Um, I'm just, I have a question. Is yes. There, is there any way that you can remove the side banners and just paint? It? Is it just on the on the brick? Yeah. Can you just paint some white paint over those two that are on the walls, and then consider something else on just that? Putting that on a board. Sticking out uh, until. Well, I mean, I know, I know what he was saying is he was trying to avoid doing all that since they were getting ready to do the whole renovation. But I, I get it. That's do you have any idea how long this would take? You said not till the end of the year, but well, that yeah, I, it shouldn't take that long. Again, they're getting the estimates back to us supposedly this week, so we'll see if that happens. And then when I asked them when they could start on it, it was you know probably the beginning of July. But that was three weeks ago, so I would say probably by August um, realistically. So I mean, I, you know, it's kind of tough with. Stuff right now, right. Um, but uh, so that's why I try to give it a little extra time because I didn't want to be like you know confined. So I didn't know that it wasn't allowed. So um, why, if it were to be mount, if those banners were to be mounted on some sort of board, would they then be considered permanent signs? I don't know. Not in that. That's what we've got right now. Is it's mounted on a permanent surface. Yeah, right. It's it's got to be an actual like. Painted on something okay. to make it. Okay. okay. All right. So I would say see if you can figure something out. Before. Yeah. I'll check. So um, yeah. So the public the hearing to be down by. <laughs> I just I, I don't know like how fast I can find somebody to like paint, paint this, and I don't know that I'm not skilled enough to make this look nice. <laughs> yeah. Now I know so. what you're saying. Um, well, I mean the public hearing is set for Monday night anyway, yeah. so yeah. nothing well, has to happen so. before Monday. Um, but if you I'd, do, say, I'd say you got at least full public hearing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and see if you can see if we can figure something, something, something out. Okay. That would work in place of that. All right. Okay. Give, give with the sign company maybe designing your permanent sign mm -hmm. and asking what they can put suggest. Yeah. Quickly. Okay. Um. All right. But still, so the the motion is still to send it out without recommendation pending the public hearing because the public hearing is already set. So we got to have the public hearing regardless. Did you make that motion already? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just not clear. So, so the public hearing is going to ask for. I, I think uh, the public hearing is going to ask for three. permission to allow the temporary banners to remain for some period of time, even though that's not allowed. It, uh, yes. I, I don't know what else okay. the public hearing. Is. Let me see if I can restate what you said. Yeah. I think the public hearing is going to allow. It's going to ask us to do something that we can't do. Either. Okay. Yes. So. But it's already set, so we have to have. So we have to have. It. We have to have. It's already been set, so you, <laughs> right. you got it. You, it Some motion the has to come out. The committee should again. send it out for the public hearing, but right. but ultimately the request is probably now that we understand what it is is probably. Can't go anywhere. Correct. Okay. I'll make a motion to send it out <laughs> to council. So can um, we? So. Yeah. Um, second. Is it okay. Sorry. Is it possible to? Um, then just ask for a variance for one additional sign on the like in front of where the car park on the side of the building. Oh, you mean so like you can you're... ask for a variance as to the number of signs, just as long as they're not signs that are permanent signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. You yes. can ask for a variance as to the Thanks. number. Yes. And I think that would probably. I just need to know what the variance request is before we get. To Monday night. So, okay. for yeah. <laughs> so for two for an additional sign on the parking lot side of the building. Correct. So we're talking about a total of two instead of the three. Yeah, I can take. I mean, I I, I can do whatever you obviously whatever you <laughs> want to do, but um, I don't, I don't really know what. Sign 
signs are the most important, but but those will be the ones that are there, I guess. Where does the one, the one on the, the bulwark, where does, what way does that face? It faces um, like towards OLS. Okay, so it's on the opposite side of the building from the parking lot. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, so kind of the least, really the least visible or they're kind of, yeah, yeah, true, yeah. which, yeah, which way you're, which way you're, which way you're yeah. going. Um, but yes, I think you can get a variance as to number. Okay. Yeah. It's just the, we can't allow a prohibited kind of sign. Okay. Now, I will say this, the ordinance doesn't specifically list it as prohibited. It's just simply not included in the permitted sign types. Now, that may be splitting hairs. Yeah, I think that's splitting hairs. <laughs> It's either allowed or it's not. And I agree with that, but I just wanted to make that distinction. Yeah. In case it doesn't say right they right. are not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> the whole sign was based on what is permitted, not what is permitted. I, I totally agree. I just I just wanted to make that. Because the, the main part of the sign ordinance has a list of prohibited signs. Right. Like, so, yeah. I just wanted to point that out. So, it looks like the variance would be to permit. Two non permitted. Well, no, no, no. No, no, it would just be a variance for one additional wall sign because the if he is if he's able to get something for that um, oh, for the front, would, that would be permitted. Anyway. It would have to be different signs than what we were just looking at, but he would have an extra one. Yeah, yeah, yes, because he's allowed one, so it would just be an additional one on that parking lot side. The of kind of sign would have to be allowed by the ordinance. Yes. But then he could he could ask for variances to one additional wall. So it's really just. A, Numbers. Correct. One additional. If, if, if that's yes. what you decide to do, I'm not trying to show you. It just doesn't sound like I would get two additional, so I could request for one additional. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, one additional. One so, will you be able to get me uh, some kind of mock up or a picture <laughs> or something so I can review it for size? And sure. to, just to make sure that the two wall signs you're, provo you're proposing are compliant. Yes. yes. But, um, Could you send him? Yeah what the compliant, and what the rules are. I know in the ordinance I can find okay. the rules, um, so that's fine. Um, but uh, did you, what do you, uh, yes, I'll get something yeah. to sorry. <laughs> and he can do I gotta think on it, no, I'll, I'll draw it. That would have to be like, okay. yeah. Got it. just as long as it's something they can say, oh yeah, that's what that looks like. Got it, okay, thank you. Um, okay, um, all right, so we have a motion to send this out without recommendation pending the public hearing and a second for that. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And with that, we are adjourned.